Oi, patch 3.2, let's see what you've got. To be honest, I already saw a lot of leaks. A lot of people are already leaking the, the champions, etc, etc. But it's better if it's officially announced in this video. And it still will be hype. So let's see. So a new uh, patch. Alan is gone. For now. Let's see, let's see, let's see. New champions. Okay, Nautilus, let's go. Support. Support probably could also be used in mid or top. Depends on this val. Depends on his kit. But it could probably used be uh, mid. Since a lot of bruisers are being used mid, like Darius, Renekton. But his main role is support. Jungle. Depends if. Depends on the clear. If his clear is 125 on Scuttler, then. There's a chance that he could be used as a jungler. So the CC bot champion is here. The first champion in Wild Rift with 4 crowd controls in his kit. First skill hook. Passive for the snare. Third skill for the slow. Ulti for the knock up. So 4 crowd controls. OP. I think this will be one of the... Most used champions, as well as this one, Pike, another OP champion for solo queue. Competitive 50 50, it depends. But for solo queue, this is guaranteed to be used a lot. It's an auto pick champion, especially if you want to carry a support. Before it was Senna, now you have Senna and Pike if you want to carry from the support position. So it's very interesting. Pike cannot increase his max. So with Pike, I want to see if it, uh, if the ans cancel animation works, such as E flash. Q flash, etc., etc. That's, that's gonna be very interesting. So similar to the PC version, he has hook, and then his second skill is he hides. Third skill is a stun, dash plus stun, and then ulti as an execute. It grants him the perfect what is this replay? Where's my where's your ADC report? Missing MIA. When his passive allows him to regain yeah, he gets HP as well when he's stealth, so it's OP. Oh, it's everyone's favorite skill, Pike's ulti. But the problem is, Flash's cooldown is low here, so there's a high chance in competitive that people will be able to dodge the ultimate. But it also depends, you have to have fast reaction time. Or if the opponent is stunned, of course your ultimate will hit no matter what. But there's some counterplay to this. You just need to have fast uh, reaction. Okay, Elemental Rift, will it be implemented? We've been testing one of our biggest let's see, let's see. updates, Elemental Rift. We loved hearing your feedback and seeing how you harness the power of dragons to heat up your game. There's a teaser, uh, teaser background. Uh. Its return this patch as a Is there any mode. teaser, boys? No, there's no teaser testing, in the background. It'll look a bit different from the current version. Here's a quick oh, Still testing mode. I see, I see. Hey, everybody, it's Adnan here from the gameplay team. As Ooh, reminder, new gameplay. New, goals for new, new gameplay producer. Firstly, we want to reduce the pressure of the early game and give players some breathing room between objective spawns and team fights. We also want to find a better balance between team coordination and individual impact to make it easier for you to showcase your skill mm -hmm. and carry your team to victory. So here's how we think Elemental Rip is going so far in patch 3.1. We're satisfied with how often the terrain changes were popping oh, up. Eh? With after first dragon, this is after first dragon. It's triggering the elemental rift, and we're open to making it happen even more often. However, not many games ended up featuring the big elder dragon. On one hand, elder is pretty powerful, so it's okay if it doesn't show up all the time. But it should appear a little more often so that you can reasonably use it to win. Yeah, Elder. I think Elder is quite fast because Speaking it only dragons, takes two dragons for Elder. I'm glad to hear that players are happy that the first dragon spawns a little later in the game. Yep, I like five minutes. It allows you to get your first item when it's five minutes. Are little too long. Tristan, I agree. Some five minutes respawn is too long. But we're also curious to hear your feedback on this with our next update. In the Time and Tide patch, we're thinking about the design of Dragon Buffs. This time, okay. we're testing two different versions of this system, and we'd love for you to play with both. One system features multiple dragon elements with more weight given to dragons in the late game. And the uh -huh. other test will feature a single element per game that grants a stacking buff. Oh, single element sounds dragons. so boring. 
One dragon per per game. If it's infernal, all of the dragons are infernal. What the heck? OP. And if the dragon is ocean, what? Kind of kind of sus. The single tar the single the single element. I like the multiple elements better. Just make it five minutes. Five minutes initial spawn and then four minutes next spawn. Finished. Then three dragons. Oh look at that icons! I see it. Just like worlds. There's also a banner. That's nice. Nice to see. Combat this. We'll be launching the option to remake your games. If one of your teammates disconnects or leaves the game shortly after it begins, you'll have an opportunity to remake the game without being penalized. Ooh, remake! Finally, the technology is here, boys. Good job, good job, Riot. Finally, just give me pause on tournament draft. So we'll be rolling out lever mitigations for losses. Any players who leave in ranked will now much, be penalized more harshly on their climb. Much awaited feature. Fees, the rest of the team will receive more ranked fortitude or lose less VP. These features are just one step on our overall journey to make Wild Rift less frustrating to play. Good job. So you can expect to see more changes with that goal in mind later this year. Well, gameplay, gameplay. Let's see what you got. Let's take a look at the gameplay changes coming to this patch. New runes have been a highly requested. Oh, there we go. The runes. Issue. I've seen a lot of I'm these runes. To announce, in the time and tide update, we're adding more rune options for your loadout. Just gonna Lethal shake up the meta a lot. New keystone rune. Mm, lethal jinx. Ash. Your attack speed when in combat, beautiful rune for ADCs. Or abilities hit, you'll gain a chunk more. Is it an item? No, it's a brand new rune. Ooh, Kraken, Kraken Slayer, Slayer. Is joining Wild Rift as a keystone choice for carries. I think Kraken Slayer is like press the attack. attack. If you guys you play LOL PC, it's very similar to press the attack. A new minor rune in the domination tree is Giant Slayer. I don't know why they did. did they they, they, they should have just made it press the attack. Giant Slayer, okay, for for high HP targets. So much new runes. Is a minor rune in the domination Scorch for those who poke. Good for Ariana. You'll deal a little extra magic damage after uh, uh, in the Mages, result, probably Mages. Nullifying Orb is a new minor rune. Mm, nullifying Orb. If you take damage from a champion that brings you to low health, you'll gain a mini shield. Oh, low health. So this is for low health. Look at that, the shield. I see, I see. Ultimate it's like a mini, mini hex minor. drinker. Joining the resolve tree. After casting your ultimate, ultimate shield. A shield for a short oh, this is a shield this for ultimate. Interesting, interesting. In the of the fight. Nimbus Cloak, a new minor rune in the inspiration tree. Grants movement Nimbus speed Cloak. Okay, this is the. the boost in speed when this is the movement speed. This is good for junglers you because you can proc with the smite. You can proc to Nimbus Cloak with the smite. Push strategies. Demolish is a new minor rune. Demolish plus Hullbreaker. RIP Towers, boys. You'll charge up an attack that deals extra damage to the turret after a few seconds. We're hoping this refresh of the It's interesting that I think they place it in different trees. If you look at there's there's a color for each rune. For example, the minor runes. This is the domination runes. And then the new resolve runes in nullifying orb. In PC it was in inspiration, if I'm not mistaken. So this is the new resolve runes, and then this one's the inspiration runes. So Nimbus Cloak, Demolish. Demolish was in resolve in LOL PC, now it's in inspiration. Alright. Ooh, I saw something. Spoiler. Control wards? Mm, three wards now. I think two control wards? One yellow and one sweeping. Or people won't go sweeping anymore. They'll just put control ward. I think it's better. Two control wards, one yellow and one red. I think that's the best. That's the best. Uh, the best combination. New wild pass. Is as good as she claims to be. I think it's psychic. Like someone is on the psychic trail. theme. Tormenting your nightmares and making Ooh, doggy. Perfect. Hullbreaker demolish. And the wild and the Nasus wild pass. Hmm. Thinking. I think this but is a new skin. I, I haven't seen this in LOL PC. I bring death. Good effects, bro. Cartoonish. It looks a bit cartoonish, though. This year, we're experimenting with new ways to get content in Wild Rift. In the Tide and Tide update, one of the global events we'll be rolling out in some regions is themed around the upcoming oh, Cosmo skins okay. for Master Yu and Lulu. Oh, eh? 
Yee's skin? Leaked? Damn, Yee has a lot of nice skins already. This is, this is a nice Lula skin. Yee already has the legendary skin, right? I think that I like the legendary better. But that's another good skin. He has so much skins, what? It's combined Typical Rito, milking the champ the we popular champions. Fun, satisfying and respectful of your game time. So please let us know what you think when it releases later this month. Icons. Now onto Wild Rift Esports. Congrats to all the icon teams that have qualified so far. I think Korea is done. SEA is also done. All of the representatives. Regional qualifiers are happening now. To determine the top shout out to RRQ, PH Rep. So mark your calendars and tune in to experience the journey of these teams as they compete for the Icons Trophy and the glory of being Co streamer, by the way. Champion. Hopefully for Icons also. What connects the Wild West and a futuristic dystopia? No, it's not Los Angeles. It's the skin montage. Oh. Roll the music. Mm, ay, it's actually my favorite Nautilus skin. It's nice that they place that first. They usually put the bad skins first, but for this one, they place the actual good skins. Sandra's Pike. Okay, I don't play Pike. Pike Jungle on the way. Resist another cat skin. Another MF skin. Okay. Oh, this is a nice morgue skin. I think this is the better morgue skin. Forsaken. Oh, Autobuy. This is, this, is, this is my skin, boys. Another Riven skin and Yasuo skin. I see. I like the animations. Oh, what? Wow. You saw that. Nice animation. Pulse Fire Lucian. Another Lucian skin. I think High Noon overall skins. High Noon best skin. Pulse Fire Pantheon. Interesting. They're, they're releasing a lot of Pantheon skins. Huh? They just released Dragon Slayer. I think the Zombie Pant last time. I like this Shen skin. Not bad. Shen jungle. Hi Noon! Another Irelia skin as well. Okay. Irelia has a lot of new skins already. Sentinel, Divine, this one also. So, ooh, this is the best Thresh skin. Way be better than the Blood Moon one. This is Ash. Ooh, yes. Force as well. Rito's releasing a lot of nice skins this That's patch. That's all from us for now. We're looking forward to the release of to the release of patch three point. Uh oh. To the release of patch three point. Arcane. Is that it? Is anyone else getting deja vu? It's not how much time I forgot. Echo's also in the champion release. So Pike, blink, Nautilus, and Echo. Oh, finally. Echo. A legit jungler. This is actually a, ju a, a jungler. Pike Nautilus is. They don't jungle. But Echo, obviously, super good jungler. He's an assassin mid laner and jungler. And uses time altering gizmos to put his plans in motion. I wanna see the second Even skill range. Oh, it's kinda big, huh? Look at that shield. What the heck? Do you see the shield? Tough HP. Okay. R.I.P. R.I.P. ADCs. I have my champion. Look at the damage. Anyone? It's so big. Look at the first skill. And after a few seconds, it boomerangs back to Echo. Did you see the this first skill? Red and butter ability to deal damage in the laning phase. Parallel convergence throws out another gadget. That the second skill is not that big inside. actually, but it's good when enough. Echo enters it's the decent. distortion field as well. He gains a Why is shield. Why Echo so small compared to Caitlyn? Look at that. <laughs> Model diff. Chrono break. Completely turns back oh, this is gonna be a fun champion to play. Pinch, this is gonna be a fun champion to main, actually. To a more favorable timeline from a few seconds ago. He'll also uh, his ultimate is not that big as well. Same as his second damage. skill. You can see exactly where Echo will zap back to with his after image, which follows him wherever he goes. Look at that! What the heck? Echo Another shield! Maybe pure AP? With his damage One fourth to full HP. And his dash attack, phase dive, to outwit his Literally double right HP. Players across the world tell us that Echo is one of their favorite characters in Runeterra. And he's available in, well, pretty he's so much good every objectives. Riot game and Arcane. So we're thrilled to finally bring new Lee's Arcane champion to Wild Rift. Whether you want to dive into the depths of the support role, 
or turn back time for a do-over on a team fight. We hope there's something for you to get excited by in the time and tide patch. Thanks everyone, and we'll no, see you on the rift. Oh, this is exciting. Good patch, good patch! Looking forward, I'm looking forward. Unlucky that there's no that there's no dragon yet. There's no dragon elemental rift yet, but the biggest change would be the rune changes. So rune changes will shake the meta a lot. It will be more diverse. Everyone's not going conquer anymore. Everyone's not going pathfinding or sweet tooth or triumph or titan. There's a lot of a lot more runes. Very excited for patch 3.2 to shake up. It will make a lot of people play again. And good for those who are playing rank. Remake is also a much needed feature for Wild Rift overall. I like it. I like the I like the patch 3.2. Maybe Elemental Rift on patch 3.3. Maybe. Hopefully. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Ciao, ciao.